What's up, YouTube? On this episode of Cottywampa Overland, we're going to be talking about winter camping. Cottywampa Overland is proudly powered by Dan Cummins Off-Road, home of the Lifetime Powertrain. Also in part by Overland Vehicle Systems, Faster Flate, and Trail Rated Coffee. Be sure to come out and say hi to us at the Moore Expo, April 8th through the 10th in Springfield, Missouri. If you're looking to support our channel, you can find all of our apparel at Long Creek Overland. For three to four months out of the year, winter comes along. And with that comes rain, wind, snow, freezing temperatures, and why would anybody want to camp in something like that? One of the biggest things that we like about winter camping is the scenery. On the East Coast, when the leaves are down in the wintertime, you can see through the trees and the foliage a lot better. And this gives you the opportunity to be able to see rock formations and other things that you typically wouldn't see in the summertime. Some of the other things that you might see in the wintertime are waterfalls that turn into ice and other ice formations along the rock cliffs and through the woods. One of the other things you might see is the treetops turning into ice crystals as frozen fog comes alive. And then there's nothing more surreal than to wake up with inches of snow around your camp. One of the biggest questions that we get asked as far as winter camping goes is how do we stay warm? Staying warm always begins with the layers that you have on. Always make sure that you dress in layers for cold weather. That way you can take off or add as you need to when the temperature rises or lowers. Around camp, we all like to have a fire, and a fire will do a great job at keeping you warm to a point. And sometimes, you just have to get in out of the elements. To get in out of the elements, we have several different ways of doing it. For the OVS 270 awning that we have, you can get walls for it. When we put those walls up, we can actually put our small propane heater in there and it will actually warm it up quite nicely to where you can be able to be in there and enjoy it. Another item that we use to sit around during camp is Kelly's T4 Plus Gazelle. That gives a lot of room to be able to get in out of the elements and have some heat in there and hang out together for when the temperatures get really cold. Another way to stay out of the elements no longer than you have to is to pre-cook some of your meals. Maybe things like soup and other items that are easy to heat up. The next thing we get asked is how do we keep warm while we're sleeping? The sleeping bag that we use for winter time is the Teton zero degree sleeping bag. They come in single and double. We have chosen the double and there have been times when our heat has actually ran out and we've been in 20 degree weather and been perfectly comfortable inside that sleeping bag. It does kind of suck to have to get out of it though. Most of you have probably seen our other videos and seen that we have an annex that goes onto our rooftop tent. This annex gives us the opportunity to have a lot of room downstairs from the rooftop tent and it also gives us a real nice area to be able to put a heater in. One big thing that you may have to consider is the safety aspect of traveling in the wintertime. Wintertime can bring a whole new set of challenges to a trail. It can be muddy, it can be snowy, it can be icy, it can be a combination of all of those things. And if you're on the side of the mountain, the likelihood of you sliding off is real. So to reduce the chances of this, some of the things that you could do is make sure that you're riding in the soft snow, if you can, and also air down your tires a little bit more than normal. If you do happen to find yourself in a mess, I hope that you've had a buddy that's gone along with you. Never try to take off in the snow or the ice alone. Recovery gear is a must in the wintertime. Some of the things that you might want to take along with you or make sure you have is a winch or traction boards, a recovery strap, maybe some soft shackles and other shackles, um, change of directions, things like that to try to get yourselves out of a mess if you happen to get in it. Another thing that you want to take with you is a good saw 
of some type, whether that be a handsaw or a chainsaw. We prefer the DeWalt electric chainsaw. Not only can this help you cut trees that may be down out of the way, but if you get out there and get in a bind and you need to generate some firewood to be able to keep warm, this is the ideal thing to have with you. Going out in the winter time does take a little bit of pre-planning. One of the biggest things is know what your weather is going to be before you go. And once you're out, make sure that you still can be able to get updates on that weather. Another good idea in part of the pre-planning process is make sure that somebody at home knows about where you're going to be and where you're going to check in from next. Weather can also be hard on batteries. Even things like the power output and time frame on your power stations can be affected. And it can also affect your automobile battery as well. Make sure you have a good set of jumper cables if you have that buddy with you. Or one of the other good things is to have one of the NOCO or similar battery chart or battery boosters. Overlanding in the winter time can be a lot of fun and very enjoyable. You can see things that you have never been able to see in the summertime. And while it is a little bit brisk, it adds a whole new element to the adventure. There are some struggles when it comes to overlanding in the wintertime. You're going to find a lot more trail closures, a lot more closed gates, things like that. So make sure and check with the ranger office to see what trails or campgrounds may be open or closed. We hope this has helped you in some way to be able to get out and enjoy overlanding in the wintertime. Let us know if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions. Maybe we'll meet up with you on some winter's night around a campfire. And until then, see ya.